Hello, fellow wargamers and history buffs. Um, I'm going to presume that I was a good boy and that Santa Claus brought me um, some nice games uh, for my Christmas present. Um, so the uh, first ones that showed up on my doorstep was this uh, Kickstarter that Against the Odds magazine had put out. Um, it is the uh, reprinting or redoing second edition of their Beyond Waterloo game. And it also included an additional um, expansion uh, of, for 1814. So uh, let's open this up and take a look and see what we've got inside. Now let's take a look here at the uh, magazine itself and the rules that are inside. So we've got uh, quite a bit here. It looks like the rules of play. We've got a number of different articles here. Um, and so there's a very extensive um, historical uh, overview of the situation here. And I think the general conceit of the game is, okay, let's imagine that Napoleon wins Waterloo. What happens after that? So that's what this uh, game is all about. And so here we've got now the rules. Um, and it's a rather, well, quite a few rules here. Um, going on for quite a few pages. Let's see, we are at... How many pages all together? Yeah, 30 pages just of the rules. Okay, and it looks like with the rules themselves, we've got the uh, components and troops, formations, combat. Um, there's movement, fortresses, diplomacy. That would be a big one, obviously. Different minor allies. And then things that are going on in other theaters as well. And then quite a few scenarios um, with obviously Waterloo itself and then uh, other campaigns, uh, what might be happening afterwards. And in fact, even stuff here with Louis the 18th. So interesting stuff. We'll have to read through that and give you a more detailed report once I've had a chance to digest it all. Now it looks like there are two sets of player aid cards um, for the game. So it looks like some different combat stuff and they are double-sided player aid cards. Yep. And so you've got one for both players, uh, set for each player. All right. Next it looks like we've got about uh, one full and one half counter sheet. Um, and so this has got the various and sundry uh, markers for the game. I presume these represent various units that are involved in the game. And uh, front and back here for all of those. Pretty much standard stuff. Half inch counters. All right, now we are looking at the map and it's a pretty good size here. It looks like it's about uh, 30 some odd inches long, probably about 22 inches wide, so kind of that standard. It's got most of uh, metropolitan France there. It's got a little bit of the Pyrenees and Spain, some various tracks over there, a little bit of the English southern coast. And then we've got uh, Belgium and parts of Germany, Switzerland, and Italy, and some different sort of off-map types of movement boxes, showing stuff moving from, it looks like even from Russia through various parts of Germany to reach uh, the frontiers of France. All right, looking at this, it looks like we've got um, something here for keeping track of the turns, as well as the various armies of the French. And then it looks like if you were to turn this around, I guess players are gonna be sitting opposite each other. We've got the allies over here and their armies 
and then ways of keeping track of their effectiveness. I haven't read through the rules yet, so I don't know what it all means, but uh, this is another good size uh, piece here, probably um, 16 by, you know, uh, 32 or so, 34. So now also among the components, we've got this uh, deck of cards and a pretty solid looking set of cards here. Um, pretty much standard playing cards. It looks like there is a French deck and an allied deck. And let's take a look and see what we've got. Looks like we have some period artwork on it. And these must then be used for different um, events that you can play or things that you can play during battles for whatever the uh, benefit it's going to have for your troops. And looks like we've got something similar here. Let's see what we have for the French. A lot of it looks very similar. Some of the same types of things here, so... Cool, these must be then used for when you have your battle cards going on, when you're doing your um, attacks. Now, we're looking at the expansion that came with this here. So this is for 1814, and this looks like it's just specifically the rules here they're calling this before waterloo um, so you've got information here and a lot of it's probably similar to what the original game is and you've got your setup so maybe you can um, do some things with that now we've got uh, once again some additional player aid cards. It looks like they're both identical. Uh, so one for each side. And uh, they're double-sided. Here we've got another uh, full-size uh, counter sheet with half-inch counters. We can take a look at some of these. Looks like we've got some different generals various leaders for the various factions that are involved. Not sure what it all means, but we'll figure that out next time. Now, similar to the Beyond Waterloo um, map that we'd seen, we have this other uh, setup here, which has the core values, I guess. It has an abbreviated uh, turn track since we're just dealing with 1814 here. It's got some information here, obviously, for, looks like, weather. And then you flip it around to the other side, and you've got whatever your various and sundry goings-on are for the Allies over on this side. Now, the uh, only map that came with this expansion is this little before Waterloo uh, section. So maybe this uh, goes on top of the other map to open up uh, these other areas of the low countries for the game. Now, a lot of times when you get a game from uh, Against the Odds magazine, or even sometimes from Clash of Arms, you'll get some of these little pocket games, these very small games. This one looks like it is dealing with Leipzig. It's four, four little maps here that are covering various areas of Leipzig. Um, let's see what this one is. This looks like it must be some part of uh, Waterloo. Yep, there's La Haye Saint, Haumont, Placenois, and probably here where the Prussians are coming in. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, we've got to keep the Emperor happy over here. Uh, until our next episode, everyone, be well.